Hi folks, Tim here again from High End Cheap Tech. And I know I said I wasn't going to put anything out, but I got two pet peeves, both with Google. Both with Google. Well, one's with YouTube, but it's the same SSDD. Same stuff, different day. Uh, so we're going to get to those right now, right after the intro. It's going to be short, sweet, no ads, no nothing. Uh, probably no pictures. I'm just going to talk. I want some advice. I want some help if you know the answers to my questions. That's all I got. Let's do the intro right now. Okay, folks. Two things that are just totally pissing me off about Google. Uh, one... I had my liked videos working on this channel. And part of what I do is I watch other reviewers, you know, guys I trust. No one in my subscription is there unless I trust them. I don't just put random folks in and subscribe. Well, well, and then I add them. Now I'll hit add the like videos. And I had it, it would come up on the playlist section. And, and, but, 70% of the time it would add it to the little horizontal section of the recent ones. There, yeah, that I could live without, you know, working right. It, it should just keep adding them and moving them over. But, you know, thank you, YouTube, for having crap software. Uh, so I decided I was going to move the one list up a little. The moment I moved it, it went back to private and we were done. Couldn't get it back to public. I've tried everything. I went through all the, I take your privacy. Do this, do that. I've done all that. I've unchecked the little box, guys. I have. Swear to God. And it says, changes saved. And guess what? When you go back into your account, <coughs> those changes are not saved. So Google and YouTube you know, you do own the website. You could put up a video on YouTube that tells us how to get our effing damned videos that are liked back to public or be able to change the settings, not just have it go private and go, oh, you can't change that. And be able to edit our, you know, customized page. And not have it go to private. How about you fix that crap? Now, it might just be my account. In which case, how about you twits fixing it at Google? I got one, just one piece of my feelings for Google right now. Yeah, you may find that annoying, but you know what? It's called freedom of speech. Now, the other one, uh, less annoying, just a minor annoyance, but I got Android 10, obviously, and I love Android 10, it's working really well, but it's got one issue. Whether you use the gesture controls or the two button controls or the full nav buttons like I do, in Android 9, I was able to just hold down the home key for a second, you know, like a second and a half, and bam, the assistant came up. That was cool. I've tried everywhere to find info on how to get that back in Android 10. I've gone through all the settings. And I'm sure it's buried in there under the 18,458 little settings, and it'll probably be under something I don't know. But if you know how, because I looked... For a video on it. If you know how, you let me know. And that's all I have for tonight. Like I said, I'm going to keep it short and sweet. That's all I got. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like the video, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, other than that, uh, read the description below. You'll see links to the Mi A2 uh, and the Mi A3, which I talked about in yesterday's video. I'll throw some and cards up here 
And uh, the impulse selfie stick, of course, which, you know, is a tripod also. I love it because I can do this and we're done. Let's go to the outro. Watch. <laughs>